have come to the last of our films on radioactivity and we're going to look at the uses of radioactive isotopes. There are many medical uses, for example Y90 is used for treating lymphoma and iodine-131 is used for testing the functionality of the thyroid and for treating thyroid cancer. In industry, paper mills check the thickness of the paper being milled by monitoring alpha particle emissions. Aluminium foil thickness can be monitored using beta particles. In biology, radioactive markers can be used to follow biological processes in living organisms. For example, radioactive phosphates can be monitored to see how well fertilizers are taken up by plant roots. Pipelines can be tested for leaks using radioactive markers. This applies to water, oil and gas pipelines. Carbon dating is interesting. Carbon exists in all living organisms and all organisms that were previously alive. All living organisms contain trace amounts of carbon-14 with a half-life of 5,730 years. Whilst organisms are still alive, they continue to take up carbon-14. This decays at an incredibly slow rate, but is always being topped up whilst the organism is alive. But as soon as it dies, carbon-14 decay continues, but no new carbon-14 is assimilated. Measuring the amount of carbon-14 in dead organisms and using our knowledge of half-lives helps archaeologists determine the age of the deceased organism. We can use this to predict the age of a huge variety of organisms, from Egyptian mummies back to woolly mammoths and further back to dinosaurs and beyond. A similar concept can be used for dating rocks. Potassium-40 decays to argon-40. By measuring the proportion of these two elements, you can estimate the age of some rock samples, as long as you don't let any of the argon escape. We don't want to dwell on it, but we have previously mentioned what happens when nuclear fission is left to get out of control. Some radioactive isotopes are used in making incredibly powerful weapons. Lastly, as you will have seen from our films, radioactive isotopes of uranium are used in nuclear power plants. Although pr this produces a huge amount of clean energy, there is a problem in storing the waste material. This is a particularly important and politically sensitive issue, as nobody wants to live near a nuclear waste site. This is Science Rocks.